Welcome back to another I ID Outdoors episode. Man, I'm always looking at my pole when I start these intros, but uh, today my dad and I are fishing a couple holes that we've never fished before on this river. We decided, hey, you know, well, we've been catching a lot of fish. We we'll just keep on walking, uh, walking up this stream, and we ran onto some two good holes. Uh, we're just gonna see if we can catch the same more fish. But if we don't, we don't. But it's some beautiful, 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 uh, beautiful water. So we're gonna get it on video. We're gonna try to catch some more trout. You guys, stay tuned. I'm hoping this is a good one. Hope. Thank you guys for support. Keep on watching this video. up in the new spot here. I don't know what it is. It hasn't surfaced or anything yet. It's a beautiful location. We've never fished here before in our lives. Oh man. Man, I'm fishing on this ledge right here. I gotta make sure I get my tackle closed. It's a nice little rainbow here. Beautiful sucker. Man, this river is full of dim bows. Oh, yeah, it's just another one of these beautiful bows of West Virginia. Nice little rainbow here. I'm gonna send it back home. Just like that. Get there and catch a couple more. I mean, this is our new hole, everybody. I, uh, I'm putting on some just regular old power bait. I was kind of complaining about it a couple episodes ago. Um, wasn't exactly what I was wanting. It seemed like it was a little bit too soft, but I'm a really far away from any store, so I'm gonna have to make it work. We're gonna just throw this in here. It's kind of fishing up water, down through here, jigging it. Dad, I think he's throwing power bait as well. We're gonna see if we can catch the same more out here. All right, everybody, I got a had a problem there. I actually missed a fish. I will admit, I missed a fish. So, putting it on there, putting a little bit smaller ball on this time. I always start out a little bit bigger, get a little bit smaller as I start getting some more bites. Easier to get that hook on there. Of course, I use a small hook because I'm doing catch and release. Easier to get that in and out without killing any trout. Because I am a catch and release fisherman. I believe that every, uh, every river should probably be catch and release. It'd be a lot easier. People go out and catch more fish. People, people take them and of course they eat them, but you know, whatever. That's that's what they want to do with it. But there should be a lot more catch release rivers out there. Like this section that I'm fishing on this particular river should easily be catch and release. Oh, oh, we're getting bites. Oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Just talking about catch and release, got hooked up. I think dad's hooked up too. That My dad's hooked up too. So both hooked up here. Oh, I think I got me a brookie. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, this is a this is a stud of a brook. This is a stud of a brookie. Holy moly! Okay, that's a stud of a brook. You don't see brooks like that very often. Man. Oh my gosh! That's a stud of a brook. I barely had him. Barely had him hooked. Oh, that's a nice brookie. That's a West Virginia brook trout if I've ever seen one. Wow! My golly. Barely had him looked. That's a beautiful trout. Look at the colors on that thing. Beautiful West Virginia brook. Gonna send him home. Right off the ledge. Swam away already. I just caught him a rainbow. You guys will see that. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Double down. Too bad we weren't close enough. To get that on video, but that's pretty cool. Got hooked up with one here in the big hole. Isaiah and I's new discovery. Walked a little bit further. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Got it. Got it. Pretty. 
pretty, 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 pretty. Not quite the size of the last one. Look at that. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. I'm actually doing something I've never done before on this channel. I'm actually going to use a float, which is regular, basically a bobber, and I've got split shots spread out through the whole thing, and I'm going to egg fish. Now, I egg fish a couple episodes ago, but I'm going to single egg fish with a float since this water's kind of slowed down here. I'm going to explain my setup. So, I have a slip knot bobber on this thing it's actually wrapped up right now but i got a slip knot bobber and i got split shots going down every uh about every i don't know eight to 14 inches anywhere in that range i got i got split shots spread out so i can just detect it as it's going down through and float it down through there and jig it without losing my whole setup all the time. And it's easier just using one little shrimp egg because the trout can gulp this up a blink of an eye and you don't even know that you lost it. That's why I'm using a float. I usually don't use floats, but in a big pool like this, I'm gonna end up using a float. We're gonna see what we could do here. Dad's moved up to a different hole, but I'm gonna stay down here and float these eggs down through here. Never ever fish this hole. Seems like there's a good amount of fish in there, but it's so far out there and then we're on the wrong side because we're walking up a certain side and it just seems like there's more fish out there than what i can get to it'd be definitely a good place to come back and try to fly fish or even bring uh waders to if i if i wanted to walk way down uh, and bring some waders but as of right now i see fish out there jumping some trout but i just cannot get to them that's the problem right now. I got rid of the float. I'm having some problems with the float. But just kind of popping these shrimp eggs down through here. See if we can catch a couple, couple trout, a couple more. I'd like to catch, I'd like to catch actually one to two more. One to two more. That's all I'm asking for. One to two more. I only know what Dad's caught. I know that he's walked way up in there further than I have. If he doesn't do any good, we probably won't walk anymore up in there. <sighs> Man, these trout are not biting. Dad and I are both stuck at two piece in here. This is actually, I'm, prob I'm probably repeating myself, but this is actually probably one of the most prettiest places I've ever fished on this river. I've never, never would have expected a place like this to be in here. Beautiful little beach over here. Nice, nice view down there. Dad actually, when we got down here, there's a herd of deer crossing the river. I've never seen that before, so that's pretty cool. Not on a river this size. A lot of creeks back home, but not on a river this size. That's for, that's for sure. But like I said, most of the water is over there, uh, where I think there's trout are laying. And I don't have any waders, so I could go wading down through there, but it, it'd be a mess trying to walk. Walk back to the truck and then driving an hour home. That would be a mess. I'm gonna go out here and see if I can catch one maybe in this water coming over this little edge here and creating a nice pretty little trough here. Isaiah's down there fishing right now. I think he uh, looks like he already has one hooked on down there. Yep, I see his pole bouncing. Good for him. He's a stud fisherman. Let's see if I can catch one. Just caught my first trout of the, of the trip on a spinner. I was about ready to give up. Threw me a spinner on. Oh, look at that. Does he have a fish too? I'm telling you. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I mean, a rainbow, what'd you catch? Nice one, nice one. 
Beautiful. Let's put him back in. Look at that. Nice. Pretty one. We fish this hole pretty hard. There's not much uh, more we can do here. We've been fishing every square inch of it, besides the end of it, where I think where all the trout are, but we cannot get down there to it because the cliff goes over, like I said, and we don't have any waders, and we don't want to walk in, walk in this wet water and then walk all the way back and then drive an hour home. So yeah, and besides today, it is May, but it is in the 40s this morning. So that's always awesome. Here we go, hooked up. Hooked up with another one. I walk down here around the around the bend. So I get down here to the bottom end of this hole where I saw all these trout were laying right off the bat. Man, that is a thick rainbow. Holy schmoly. That is a thick rainbow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he's got me wrapped up in the tree. No, 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 no. No, oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, he's got me wrapped. He's got me wrapped. He's got me wrapped. Oh, get in there. Okay. I don't want to lose this fish, but he keeps on wrapping me around the tree because he weighs so much. Water's just pushing around. Okay. I got him in the net. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. That was, I thought I was going to lose that fish. All right, everybody. Another beautiful fish. This is a big one. Biggest one of the day. Throw him right back in there. Let him swim upstream. He's already gone. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Uh, I knew this fish would be in here, laying at the bottom end of this hole. And we just finally worked our way down to where we could walk down here. And he was laying right in front of this big tree where it's going in. Right off the bat, that big rainbow just slaughtered it. So that's, that's pretty cool. That worked out. All right, dad's hooked up on a spinner. Got him a nice rain. Oh. Oh, that's two casts in a row that he's lost one like that. Oh, that's sickening. Dad's hooked up again, actually has one. Caught out in the middle of the river. Oh, 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 get it out of that tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> there you go, Dad got him one. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. Woohoo! It took me long enough to get that one. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching ID Outdoors. This is the second week in a row where we've made three videos in one day. We've been tearing up the trout. And no, I am not going to tell you where I'm at. So don't ask in the comments. So yes. Thank you guys for watching ID Outdoors. We appreciate the support. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.